especially as black men, we know that we need to go to the doctor. We don't like it. And so we knew that there was a problem, but we ignored it. We got a friend to call that he had had a heart attack. We went to the hospital, um, and they admitted him that night. The next day, we go to visit him, and he is totally, you know, he's up in the bed. You know, he says, you guys, I promise you, when I get out of this hospital, I'm coming back to church with you. We're going to get our family back together. And I just said, I love you guys so much. The next day, we were going to see him before we, we left the home after school. The phone rang frantically. My mother answered it. And next thing you know, she starts screaming. My father had died, had another massive heart attack in the hospital, and they could not bring him back. We rushed to the hospital. My mother, when we get here, she says, wait here. She's gone for a long time. And when she comes back, she says to me and my brother, she says, come with me. And we walk into the ward, and there is my father, laid out dead on the table. And she says, kiss your father goodbye. And we go, we kiss him on the forehead, he's as cold as ice. I'm witnessing this scene in my life, and I don't know quite what to do. Anybody been there before where you would just experience something that you know what's happening, but your mind and your heart can't quite reconcile the trauma you're going through? Did you know exactly how I felt? I, I could not believe that my dad was just alive, and now he's gone. I never even wanted, I didn't even want to go to the funeral because I just couldn't process what I was dealing with. But they made me go to the funeral and they said, okay, you don't have to go to the eternal. After coming through this, I was in a state of shock because I didn't even know how to deal with what I had experienced. And so mom didn't have money, you know, for, for therapy or anything like that. So what happened was church and movies became my thing. You know, I, I would, you could not kick me out of the church. I would get there early. I would help open up the church with my uncle, who was a pastor. You know, I would vacuum, I would deacon, I would even direct the choir. All right, I, I would teach the Sabbath school. I mean, I was a church boy, okay? I mean, after church, when we would have food, I would, you know, clean up. I would put up the tables and chairs because church gave me a positive outlet to process the hurt and the pain that I had gone through. And in movies, when I would watch films, it would really give me uh, an idea of what was possible. When I would watch The Color Purple, here at the beginning of the story, these two sisters said that they would never part. And even though they faced great conflict, at the end of the day, love still brought them back together. And that spoke to me. That, that gave me reassurance that no matter what I went through in life, that as long as I had God, as long as I had love, I kept my faith that everything would work out. And as I began to tell people that I thought I might want to go into Hollywood, oh, why would I tell people <laughs> in the church that I wanted to go into Hollywood? <laughs> I learned my lesson quick. They said, get the oil, get the anointing oil. We have to rebuke the devil out of him. Hallelujah, amen. You cannot go into Hollywood. And you cannot go into Sodom and Gomorrah. That is the devil's playground, boy. <laughs> you know, football, yeah, you can go into the NFL, but you cannot go into Hollywood. And I kept asking myself, I said, well, uh, you know, as a young kid, uh, I, I was known for sometimes being smart and having a smart mouth, right? And it didn't come because I was trying to be disrespectful, but I was curious. I said, wait, okay, I said, the Bible says, uh, faith without works is dead. Right? The Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Bible says the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. So you're teaching me that faith works, but then you're telling me when I get in the world that fear takes place. You mean to tell me that faith stops working, that God stops his power at the gates of Hollywood? The last time I checked, Hollywood is a man-made institution. The last time I understood God, well, God has dominion over everything in the earth, so you need to tell me he won't go with me as long as I keep him first. I need you to tell me, does faith 